Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another video and this one has been super requested on social media. This is my review of the Moto X Play, a new interesting device out by Motorola and it sits in between the Moto G and the Moto X style. I think they should have called it a different Moto letter like Moto F or Moto U just because it kind of confuses people where this sits but it is a medium range or a medium tiered smartphone. Retails for three to 400 bucks depending on where you are. And it isn't even available in some countries yet, like the US, up here in Canada and in the UK, we are pretty lucky. We've got a few of them in stock. So this is what I think of this pretty cool device. So this is the Moto X Play. As I said, a very strange name, but that is what Motorola decided to go with. When we take a look at the specs, it's completely packed, which is a bit weird since it's only a medium range device. 1.7 gigahertz octa-core processor, a full 1080p 5.5 inch display, Gorilla Glass of course, 21 megapixel camera, a front facing 5 megapixel camera. This thing is ready to rock and roll and it only retails for 400 bucks. What is the caveat? On the back, we do have a plastic backing. It doesn't feel as premium as, of course, the likes of, say, an iPhone, the Samsung Galaxy S6 lineup, but it will serve its purpose, and I'm gonna rate this around slightly lower than the LG G4. And to tell you the truth, I am slightly disappointed, but that's because I'm just used to using top-end smartphones. The backplate is removable, and you can swap these out for a few different color options of your choice. When we take a look around the rest of the device, it is in a metallic finish, but once again is still made out of plastic, but it is quite sturdy. On the bottom, we do have the micro USB port for charging, and up top we have the SIM slot tray as well as the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the sides, we have nothing, a blank slate on the left side, and on the right side we do have the volume rocker and on and off button which has slight texture to it, which makes it nice and easy to click. One thing that I did notice though, the actual buttons felt a bit loose inside of the housing, so they rattled around a bit and it gave the phone a sense of cheapness. I'd like to see these a bit more firm and rigid. The rest of the device, we have a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display, very decent viewing angles, and unless you are comparing this to the likes of a Quad HD display, like on a Samsung or LG G4, you won't notice too much of a difference, but maybe the colors could be slightly more saturated. On the back, we do have a 21 megapixel sensor camera with dual LED flash, but don't let that high resolution fool you. In the time that I was using the camera, I would say that the pics came out, one word, decent. Weren't too great, autofocusing, struggled sometimes, and it really depended on how much light you had in the actual moment. Going through the actual camera app itself, Quite simple to use, swiping to the left, we have all of the options on a scroll wheel. Swiping to the right, you can get to your gallery. And here are a few sample pics as well as video footage. The actual front facing camera, five megapixels. Once again, the one word that I'll use is decent. Let me know what you think of the samples down below in the comments. Performance-wise, the Moto X Play is running near stock Android. All Motorola or most Motorola devices now have that near stock Android experience. And this is my favorite kind, even if there's upgrades to TouchWiz, HTC Sense, stock Android, the way to go, and my reason for switching to Android a couple years ago. This game though is the bane of my existence in every single Android review that I do. When we take a look at some of the benchmark scores, we're not looking too hot. 548 single core, 6094 multi core, comparing that to the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 or even the iPhone 6 Plus. Ugh. Hopefully, you're not a benchmark person or a numbers person. While I was using the Moto X Play when I was playing games, switching between apps, the device seemed to run fairly smooth. There were a few instances of lag or when the device started to slow down. A couple times apps started to close randomly, but 
I think that's to be expected. You can see here while I'm browsing through Twitter, the device slowed down quite a bit when I was scrolling all the way down. When I switched to say Instagram or Facebook, these hiccups seem to be gone. Just wasn't as quick or snappy as other devices that I've used. But remember, you are paying for that less or less than premium performance. Playing 3D games, I felt that the Moto X Play handled them without any trouble. Maybe slightly longer loading times, but for example, this 3D Riptide GP game, I felt I was pretty decent, except for that crash. Multitasking between applications, this was also fairly smooth, maybe took a bit longer to load, but unless you have this side-by-side -side of a flagship, you won't notice too much of a difference. Now getting to my favorite part of this phone is the awesome battery life. 3630 milliamp hours. This thing can last two days, three days on limited use. And for those of you that love to use your phones throughout the entire day, are power hungry, this thing will last you without any issues. This is a reason in its own just to buy this phone. In the end, this device has awesome battery life, decent performance as well as moderately priced. And it'll also depend on who carries this phone. For me, it's TELUS, and they've got some pretty sweet carrier-specific features as well. Like TELUS Wise, it keeps everyone safe online. And for more info, I will leave their link down below in the description box. And if you are looking to buy this device, that link will be left down below also. So that was my review of the Moto X Play 2015. Remember, mid-range money we're talking about here. Let me know what you think of this device down below in the comments. I believe I've read on a couple forums this will be coming to the States, maybe rebranded as a different Droid device. Not too sure, but expect it to be coming in the next couple weeks. And if you guys like this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more sweet tech content. And I will catch everyone else in my next episode. Peace.